Hey, what's up YouTube? Houston here. Look, if you're in the state of Florida and you're looking for an unsecured loan and you have bad credit, well, I have some lenders that you may want to check out, okay? Now, here's the thing about uh, lenders, especially with lenders when they said that we'll give you a loan with bad credit. Now, they may not check the regular credit bureaus, which is like Experian, TransUnion, and uh, Equifax, right? What, what they will check, they may check your LexisNexis. They may check your Clarity, which is owned by Experian. They may check your um, DataX, which is owned by Equifax, or they may check your Factor Trust, which is owned by TransUnion, okay? Now, the reason they check these is not because of the credit. They already know you probably have challenging credit if you're coming to them. Hey, you can go to them if you have perfect credit. But the bigger thing they're looking for to see if you're in a uh, bankruptcy or was there any type of fraudulent activity uh, recently. Okay, so that's the reason these here lenders uh, check these files. Now, in terms of the lenders, you have a uh, personal loans. Uh, dot com they loan from a thousand up to uh, 35,000 now they are a platform so if you're going to apply with uh, lenders that actually are a platform then what I would suggest you do is have your email set up your uh, email have a separate email uh, so that way you may not want to be bombarded with different loan offers and stuff so have a private email set up just for those type of lenders now the next lender is universal credit okay now universal credit their loans go from a thousand up to fifty thousand dollars okay now the uh, Think about it with universal credit, the credit scores start at about a 560. Okay, so that pretty much, hey, you got you got bad credit, right? Um, the interesting thing about it is they have a higher threshold than the banks when it comes to debt to income ratio. Okay, so their debt to income ratio is 75%. Okay, now here's the thing you need to understand why I'm talking about debt to income ratio is because with you go to your bank okay say that you go a uh, bank with Chase alright so you go to Chase and you ask for a loan even though you may have a good credit score but because your debt to income ratio is over that 50 55 percent debt uh, re threshold they may turn you down or if you go to like a uh, Navy Federal uh, they may turn you down with a 50-55% debt to income ratio, okay, on, on the loans. Now, it's interesting, Navy Federal, with a 580 credit score, they will give you a credit card. They will give you a $25,000 credit card. But when it comes to the personal loan, if that debt to income ratio is higher than 55%, you have a higher chance of being turned down, even though you may have a 700 credit score with Navy Federal. That's, wow, that's interesting, isn't it? Now, the next lender is uh, Upgrade, okay? They're more focused on people with uh, challenging credit. Their loans go anywhere from 1000 up to 50000 Their D DTI, again, is between 70 75%. Now, you have to be at least making about $800 a month. Uh, so if you on welfare, social security benefits, um, I even think they cater to veterans because I know a lot of veterans, they have uh, challenges trying to find lenders that will work with them. Uh, so the good thing about Upgrade, they would actually, in all these loans, they don't do a hard pull on your personal credit, okay? Uh, one of the good things about, unless you actually accept the loan, okay? Um, but the good thing about it with uh, Upgrade is that they're one of these lenders. They're going to actually show you what you actually pre-approved for. So that way you can make the decision if you want the loan or not. All right. Now, there's another lender in the market, Am1. Now, their loans go from 1000 up to 100000 But again, Am1 is another uh credit loan specialist database all right so you want to use your separate email in order to go for that loan all right then you have zippy loans now with zippy loans they are um 
they're a bad credit lender, but the thing about it with Zippy loans um, is that their loans go from 300 up to 15,000. So they don't go past 15,000. So if you're trying to get a 25,000 or a $50,000 loan, then Zippy loans may not be the best lender for you. Uh, but they do specialize and focus, focus on people with bad credit. Then you have one main. Now a lot of people have dealt with one main. Some people don't like them. They don't. Uh, they don't like their tactics or whatever. But if you're in a crunch and you need money, their loans go from fifteen hundred up to twenty thousand. Okay, fifteen hundred up to twenty thousand with one main. Then you have indie loans. Now, if you just need a quick payday loan, uh, say for like a, just a small couple hundred thousand dollars and no hard pull, then indie loans may be the lender for you. Okay, and so their loans go up to uh, five thousand dollars. All right. Now, since you're in the state of, um, say, the tax, excuse me, in the state of Florida. Uh, you have the Florida Credit Union. Now, the Florida Credit Union, they have a, a no-hassle loan. Now, with that no-hassle loan, it goes anywhere from 1000 up to 3000 Then they also have a little payday loan, which goes up to 500 but the no-hassle loan is no credit check. Okay? So, if you are a member of the um, Florida Credit Union... Uh, their criteria, at least being with them for at least 90 days, um, but and deposits, uh, but you can get a loan, a no house loan from a thousand up to two thousand. Then you have um, Miami, Florida Credit Union. Okay, they have a no credit check loan, and that loan actually goes up. That loan actually goes up to two thousand. All right. Now, there's one other lender I wanted to mention to you, uh, Avant. They also deal with people with uh, bad credit, all right? Now, one of the key things about getting uh, personal loans, even though you have bad credit, if you have a good income, and that's one of the most important things about getting a loan even when you have bad credit. Say that you and you have a spouse in the household, making sure that you put your income on the credit file as well as your wife's income. Or say that you're on a welfare, disability or something, but you are sharing rent or you're renting out a room to somebody but you own the place then that's income that you can include if you retired make sure that you uh, include your income from your 401k or your pension all right so the more income you show even though you may have challenging credit that can really help you get approved for a bad credit loan, all right? If you have any other questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, and removing negative items off of your credit, then click the link in the description. Thank you.